Hi, I'm Ben Spry, Head of Flexibility Services at NPAB Business Solutions. In 2011, we launched a study in partnership with the Grantham Research Institute on Climate Change and the Environment at the London School of Economics called The Future Report. In it, we looked at four different scenarios for the UK market going out to 2020, based on what we knew in 2011, including planned energy policy, incentives and targets the UK was aiming for on a short and medium term basis. We then looked at what this meant for businesses um, and how they use their energy, in particular areas that they can take control of, for example, the implementation of energy efficiency measures, um, or using what was relatively new back then, demand side response and selling energy back to the national grid. As, as well as taking a look back at the different factors that have influenced the market over the past few years, we look to what the future might hold on a short, medium and long term basis as we plot the transition to net zero in 2050. What investments are going to be required? What policy changes are needed to get there? And who's going to take the responsibility of footing the bill? And more importantly, what role will business take in all of this? We're now in 2020, so how close are any of those four scenarios to reality? Does the energy world of 2020 look like we thought it would?